This tutorial reviews the following common registration examples that we haven't yet seen. Registering for spanned courses and courses with reserved seats. First, let's look at an example of registering for a spanned course, Psychology 1200. You'll notice that this course has a Part A and a Part B. This is called a spanned course. Spanned courses run from September to April and registration in Part A will automatically register you in Part B. Select the section for which you would like to register. You'll see the lecture appear under Current Schedule. This means you've successfully registered for the class. Notice that it will also show that you're registered in Part B. Next, let's look at registering for a course with reserved seats. You'll notice that in Biology 1020, Section A01, some spaces are reserved for Faculty of Engineering students until August 8, 2014. If we look at the seat capacity and availability for the course, we can see that 100 seats were originally available. We also know that some of these seats are set aside for Faculty of Engineering students. There are 18 seats left, but we don't know how many of these are reserved. Select the section for which you would like to register. In this example, we've encountered a reserved closed error. As indicated in the error message, all of the seats for students of your type are taken. If, in this example, you received this message and you are not a Faculty of Engineering student, this would mean that all remaining seats in the course are reserved for Faculty of Engineering students. Alternatively, if you received this message and you are a Faculty of Engineering student, this would mean that all of the seats reserved for Faculty of Engineering students have already been taken. If we refer back to the bold black text found in the class schedule, we can see that as of August 8, 2014, all unused reserved seats become available. Don't forget that once the reserved seats are released, the normal course restrictions still apply. Proceed to the next tutorial to learn about changing and dropping classes.